Hello everyone and today we are back with another Black Clover mobile video and we are back with a tier list. This is the closed beta tier list and I just want to say uh, two disclaimers right here. The first one is this is my own tier list. Your Yours can be different and I, I don't, I'm not saying that my tier list is uh, the right thing because I feel like uh, every character can be usable in this game with the right gear with the right skill page and the second disclaimer this is the closed beta version of the tier list the final version could be very different from the this one because the characters can be changed so this is pvp and pve tier list so this is the whole package uh, i did not separate between the pve tier list and pvp tier list so for example, if this was a PvP only tier list, I would have Mars at S tier or even S S tier. So this is overall a PvP slash PvE tier list. So I did uh, I did record uh, an in depth tier list, but it was a long one, so I will not do the same. I would just go every character very fast. It, it will not be uh, in depth, so I will not take your time. So let's start with the best character for me in the closed beta SS tier is Rill. He's a very good, he's a debuffer and he's a very good uh, DPS actually. His skill number two puts a counter that's very OP and his ult is um, a buff removal. It's an AOE buff removal and also debuffs uh, the enemies. He's crazy, his counters do a lot of damage his skill number one can be three can do three different effects and yeah real for me is the best character uh, overall and let's go to the s tier there is charlotte charlotte can be even as s tier and can be even as low as no 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 even as low as maybe here so what charlotte what charlotte do so her skill number two is crazy but it's a chance she has a 20 percent chance to gain an extra turn that's very crazy so she can use her uh, skill number two and then alt all at the same turn because she gets an extra turn but if she didn't gain the extra turn she gets a stamina increase on basically every character alive um, so every enemy alive so she's crazy i mean she's an s tier Let's talk next about the SSR Yuno and the SSR Asta. Uh, they are both seasonal characters. Their passives work uh, literally the same. Every turn uh, passes, they get more damage. And I, f I, I don't like this type of passives uh, in other games, but when I play this closed beta, in PvP, uh, actually, uh, a match take a match in PvP takes a lot of time because the characters are bulky, they are tanky, so they their passive uh, their passives would build uh, to a lot, to a good percentage of damage. I put you know in front because he he's like the same as Asta, but he's an AOE. Uh, I like their ultimates because they both uh, give themselves a DP buff. That's uh, I think defense. I don't know what's the what it's called in the game, but it's like defense reduction, but it's not a debuff. So there is defense reduction. It's a debuff you put on the enemy, but they they don't give the that to the enemy. They they get it as a buff. It's called DP in the game. They attack and they ignore 60% of the enemy debuff. So uh, let's say there is an enemy that has a, a, a buff block or debuff block. So they can't be debuffed. They don't care about that. They just give the buff to themselves and they will do a lot of damage. Next is Fugolion. So Fugolion is very uh, actually good damage dealer. And that's thanks to his passive, I would say, because... I will tell you, uh, this character and this character are kinda the same, kinda, not actually the same. But if this character uh, did have his passive like Fugolion, I would put him maybe right here, or right here. I will talk about him later. So his passive gives him, uh, when he attacks the enemy, or, or when he crits the enemy, 
he actually applies burn on them and when he attacks an enemy with burn he will he will do more damage he will activate more debuffs he will get more stronger so he doesn't need another character with burn to uh, to do his uh, job but he's a very good damage dealer nonetheless so i like him next is yami yami is also a very good damage dealer he needs uh, in my opinion a high gear you need to crit always with him to uh, be consistent uh, he do have a very good level uh, skill number one aoe that has a 50 percent chance to decrease uh, the defense of the enemies so he can be a very good farmer also and he do he's just basically built damage and he do have a little of a little of support in his ultimate when he kills an enemy with his ult so let's go next to nozel nozel is actually my favorite character in the closed beta and he was the first character i got the ssr character i got so nozel passive is i don't like it at all when he gets i think uh lower than 30 percent hp he gets i think a barrier or some shit uh, I, I don't remember it's it's worthless i, I think when you get to 30 percent uh, hp or lower you are just dead and his skill number one i think will give you poison when you uh are uh when you do have protection his skill number two is very good it's an aoe it's a guaranteed defense reduction there's no chance it's an aoe defense reduction guaranteed that's very very crazy and it gives him a stealth protection so he can't be targeted by enemies his ultimate uh, do also uh, damage it's an aoe and for every enemy killed it resets the skill number two cooldown see here so he is a very very good um armor actually next is a vengeance and why i put vengeance here also on st because of his two so his two is very crazy actually it gives him a 50 percent stamina uh, increase so he can uh, recycle turns a lot of a lot faster he also transforms an enemy into a tree uh so he basically stuns them or they, they they don't play for one turn and he also depletes their stamina that's alone is very crazy when you use uh williams 2 uh, he can even uh steal uh, turns and you can play with him again before the enemy plays if you build him with high speed his ultimate is also very good it can gives you uh, it has 50 i think 50 percent chance to gives immortality it can do and it can give you i think recovery and it he's overall a very good um support and he is more focused i think into pvp with his skill number two yeah i like vengeance i think he is one of the best if not the best support in the game there is next and the first character in the a tier uh mars mars can do a lot of stuff he is very tanky first of all he is a tank he is very tanky he uh taunts he stuns he increases the debuffs duration on the enemies but i feel like all the taunt all the stuns all the increases the debuffs on the enemy all it's all pvp i mean i rather use all the characters above him in pve and rather rather use him i mean but in pvp it's a different story in pvp uh, he is i told you very good but for me mars is a tier he's not bad he's a tier the, as you can see in my tier list there is no b tier no c tier no d tier all the characters are usable and next is mimosa mimosa can is also focused on support but she's a healer she's she only heals i think she i think her ultimate gives you a full cleanse i think I think uh, I think Mimosa is a PVE character. Um, I mean, if you had to build one of them, I would I would build Vengeance. But if you build both of them, 
I think I will use Vengeance in PvP and Mimosa in PvE. She is focused on healing more than Vengeance because she is a healer with a little bit of support but the thing that makes Vengeance better than her is his too. I think her too just debuffs the enemy that it it it's, um, makes them do less damage, it makes them it lowers their crit chance. I mean that's that's okay. Next of all is um, Sally. I forgot her name. So her passive is very unique. I like her passive. It applies five percent damage increase to all allies for two turns upon using skill number two. That's one of the things that things that I like about her. She basically buffs gives damage to all allies when she uses skill number two her skill number one uh, 25 percent chance to uh, apply poison it's very bad her skill number two removes all friendly targets uh debuff so she has a debuff removal on her too and she also uh, redirects uh, the debuffs into the enemy very very uh, unique and cool skill her number three or the ultimate skill she removes all buffs from an enemy and applies a debuff to an enemy target increases the duration of all debuffs for two turns like mars and it's also an aoe i mean she's very good you can use her but there are better character to use characters to use so yeah and also there is jack jack is one of my favorite characters actually also in the closed beta but the thing that i don't like about him is his passive his passive applies three percent crit uh applies three percent crit uh, increase on himself every turn up to 30 percent i mean it's a very good passive but uh, it doesn't work good with him so his one is an aoe that gives uh, or debuffs the enemy and lower their hp by 30 percent that's a very good uh, aoe and i think it's even better than yami's aoe his skill number two is a single target that do bleed on the enemies but um that's all J just bleeds on the enemies and uh, you will see why he needs bleeds his ultimate says applies 20% crit damage increase and then attacks the enemy target for every active bleed debuff they have. So the more bleed the enemy have, the more damage Jack will do. So if Jack was like Fugolion and his passive gave him uh, or debuffed the enemy and gave the enemy bleeds upon maybe critting or, or maybe upon attacking, I think he would have been a lot better. It's mm, you can get bleeds by only his the skill level two. And that's okay. Fugolion can get here the burns by his just by attacking with any skill he can burn the enemy. I mean, if Jack could uh, also maybe bleed make the enemy bleed with his one, I think he would have been better. But yeah. I think Jack is very good nonetheless. And this is it. This is my tier list. And just to uh, say again, uh, this is my own tier list. You, you can have your own tier list. You can have your own opinion. This is my opinion. This is the closed beta version of the tier list. This is the tier list uh, with the characters with no skill page, with no uh, gear set, just their passives and skills and it can be changed when the game releases. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and see you in the next one.